He performed on the violin and in song as a child and started playing the guitar in 1973 as a teenager. Uh, as a singer-songwriter, he has been writing and performing both as a solo artist and part of a duo trio since the late 70s. His adult contemporary style is reminiscent of secular artists like Dan Fogelberg, James Taylor, Paul Simon, and Christian artists Michael Card and Bob Bennett. Uh, after becoming a Christian in 86, he started rising, writing music in the CCM vein and has produced an album of original Christian music entitled Child of Light. He performed in clubs throughout the D.C., Maryland, Virginia area to finance his architectural studies at the University of Maryland and then in his native state of New Jersey after graduating. Uh, he has performed for audiences of over 5,000 people and was an opening act for the Grammy Award winning band America. How about that classic act right there? Yeah, 1997. He's also performed in vocal groups as so backup for Andy Williams, Clint Holmes, featured performer at Christian and Secular Festivals. Great stuff. He's got a great, great uh, musical background, of course, from Maze Landing, New Jersey. Please welcome the one and only Lee Goldberg. Lee, right. good evening I'm, to I'm you. I'm not going to let you read that anymore because that, that, that's too much pressure. <laughs> well, I'm sure yeah, you're going to live up to those words. You've got a fantastic musical background. You've listed some great influences, some great names there. Um, what is you've been a performer on here before, of course. What has I kept you busy? Been a couple times, yeah. So what yes, I've been doing, is, yeah. And I said I, I I did lap I did the lap red, although because he's doing concerts, but I'm just doing scriptures. So today I posted my three. 165th scripture to music one every day for a year and um, I play I play those in and out with my what I now term long songs you know um, and because um, they're all just shorts and uh, they're just little quick Bible verses and then I tie them into the songs and stuff um, that's what I've been doing for the last year I'm not sure what's going to happen February 22nd the last one gets posted and it's 365 days in a row um, so and it's 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 done some very interesting things. So I'll, I'll, maybe I'll get, I'll get into that a little later. But you know, here's one. It's uh, Ephesians one three. I don't want to be too I don't want to be too loud here. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. spiritual blessing in the heavenly places in the ground. There's another quick one. Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Psalms 23, of course. Makes me to lie down in green pasture. Leads me beside quiet waters. He restores my soul. All right, so <laughs> anyway, the. Uh, First song I'm going to do here, I just, it's like I'm trying to not, you know, repeat stuff until I have to. So, anyway, this is my, um, is it, how, how's the guitar to vocals? Does it sound all right out there? Yeah? Okay. It does. It sounds okay. good. All right, good. All right. So, um, this, is my, uh, this is my communion song. table he's made up provision his body was broken for you come to the table for it's your decision the loaf of the lord is the bread that is true come let the bread heal your body and come let the wine cleanse your soul 
Drink deeply from streams of forgiveness and Come let Jesus make you whole Come let Jesus make you whole Come to the table and drink of his mercy He's given his life for your own Come to the table Drink of his glory, for the way of the wine is the way to his throne. Come let the bread heal your body. Come let the wine cleanse your soul. Drink deeply from streams of forgiveness. And come let Jesus make you whole. Make you home. Do this in remembrance of me. Do this in remembrance of me. And come, let the bread heal your body. And come, let the wine cleanse your soul. Drink deeply from streams of forgiveness. Come, let Jesus. Make you home. Come, let Jesus make you home. That's great. And the crowd goes wild. <sighs> my piece, my, my earpiece keeps falling out here. That was a great. I love the sound that you have. Everything there. There's a little bit of. Uh, Paul Simon influence in there, Paul maybe? Paul Simon, definitely. That, and, that's a good segue, actually, into and, my next question there, Rob. Uh, okay. uh, Sorry, just in case you were in the bathroom. I wasn't sure. No, no, you're fine. What's the next question? Uh, yeah, I did, did want to, and I did, I did apparently forget. We will be, I will pray for Rob coming up. I, something I forgot to do. Go ahead. Uh, I'm doomed, Joe. I'll wait. I'll wait. I, I will do that. No, no, no. We'll do it. Yeah, I, well, before you give our closing prayer, I'll make sure to, to pray for you. I'll, I'll make up for it in a little bit. It was not intentional, sir, but I was, it was brought to my attention. But yes, yeah, so great stuff. Now, you mentioned a lot of contemporary influences there, Lee. Uh, a lot of, you know, Dan Fogelberg, you know, Taylor, a lot of stuff like that. There's, there's Who, another one, too, that you wouldn't maybe necessarily know. It would be Ian Anderson from uh, Jethro Tull. Oh, that's what I was about to say. What 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 influences have really shaped your music? I keep on going with that. There, that's I want to see. Probably that was probably you know I I I did more um, tall covers than anything else, but the acoustic stuff. If most people oh. aren't familiar with it, unless you're a real fan, you don't you know you know like you know locomotive breath and agua, but you don't know all the acoustic stuff that he's done. And a lot, what I realized, I didn't even realize this until somebody was talking about Ian Anderson and his guitar, and and that one of the things. <laughs> does that upstroke and I realized whoa so I started playing some of the songs and I'm like oh yeah I do that I didn't even realize I was doing it and I realized I do it a lot of my own music so that's like a real significant influence on that and then stuff like stuff like that is like very Jethro Tull like as opposed to the James Taylor which that kind of stuff you know so the D and and the D the D voicing the D uh, in, in the key of D, um, all up and down, and it's like, you know, Ian Anderson uses stuff like, I do capos all up and down, and again, that's a very much a tall influence, so that's probably, believe it or not, the greatest influence um, in a lot of ways. So. Good anyway. stuff there. A lot of great influences there. Some classics, Jethro Tull, Dan Fogelberg, um, yeah, James Taylor. A lot of yeah, great yeah. singers, song. A lot of great singers, and poets, songs. And poets. And poets. A lot of good, there. good poetry. Which poets. Is, which is, I've worked very yes. hard on, on, on the lyrics, and uh, that that matters. To which, me. with but, that, uh, maybe how you consider your music to be is very uh, rich in, in in lyrical content. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, I work very very hard on that. Um, um, yeah, yeah, very much so. And you know, I believe it's one it's one of the gifts. You know. I mean, I'm reading through Exodus because, you know, if you st I'm trying to do the Bible in a year this year. I haven't done it in a while that, okay. So you're in Exodus and there's like all the 
of stuff about this, that, and then they're making this thing, they're making that thing. But it always said about that whom the spirit that God put the spirit of, you know, creativity in, that God put the spirit of of you know the ability to make these um, artisan you know things, old pomegranates and all this kind of stuff. So you know, it's you know, you can maybe take credit for practicing a lot, but you can't take credit for having a gift that God has given you, because this is what He wants you to do. You know. So anyway, so yeah, so so it was kind of interesting reading through that, thinking about that. And, and, um, Good stuff there. Song number two, what do you have for us? Anyway, so the next song I have is, uh, these are a little different than, than my, my normal ones, but um, I, I'm 63 years old, okay? I would never have guessed, by the way. Okay, well. Seriously, I, I never would have guessed. That's, my beard's all gray. My dad didn't get gray in his hair for a while, you know, but yeah, I'm 63. Um, uh, I'll be 64 this year. Uh, and... Um, so one day, one day I was washing my hands, and I'm looking in the mirror, and I was 60. And I'm looking, I'm like, how did I get this old, man? How did I get this old, you know? And, 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 and the word says, uh, life is a vapor, you know? And, but I'm like, man, sometimes the days seem to last forever. But you go, you look back, and you're like, wow. You know, that life just zoomed. How did I get this fast? How did I get this old, you know? Um, just dropped my pick. It's a good thing I got another one. Anyway, so, uh, so, of course, what did I do? I wrote a song. It's called The Days Are Long, But The Life Is Short. But you can never earn more time Chasing after all those things You think are so sublime You climb a corporate ladder Just to earn another dime While your family and creator Are at the back of the line The days are long but the life is short this is the truth that I must put forth The days are long but the life is short So be wise with your days You can drive a sports car or take your limousine instead But if you die with the most toys Well you still in fact are dead Try to change the whole world but you lose sold instead and you sacrifice what matters for a crumbling crust of bread the days are long but the life is short this is the truth that I must put forth the days are long but the life is short so be wise with your ears You can change your ways And look forward to the better day Hold on to what will last Your future's not determined by your past Days are long but the life is short the truth that I must report The days are long but the life is short So be wise with your days The days are long but the life is short This is the truth that I must put forth The days are long but the life is short So be wise with your days And be wise with your years you got to be wise with your life. Great stuff there, Lee. Lee Goldberg right here on this edition of Red's Room. Great singer-songwriter here with us tonight. Uh, Kim Romero says, yay, Lee. Denise says, my friend here in South Jersey, Lee. Uh, 
Uh, always love this song, Lee. Uh, yes, people do say sounds like Paul Simon. So yes, great, uh, that, great that. comparison there. Yeah, <laughs> he's still uh, lovely. Music, you know? Hey, Paul Simon was one of the great uh, singer songwriters of our time. You know, so that's uh, good stuff there. Marcia and Scaboza, uh is watching us as well. Great songwriting and beautiful guitar work. You have an engaging storyteller voice. Definitely hear the Jethro Tull influence. Uh, yes, uh, great yeah, stuff man. there. Yeah, man. Um, All right. Uh, Denise um, also wants to mention as well that you are nominated for a Kindred Award in June for Acoustic Folk Storyteller. So congratulations on that. It was. Uh, do you like what I'm hearing? Says Mark Hume. Yes. Uh, rich lyrics, beautiful guitar. It's Monica. Olga says, I love your style so very much. So goodly. Uh, yes, indeed. Also checking in here on Zoom as well. A lot of great uh, compliments on here as well. Debbie Fisher says, I love your music, Lee. Um, Mary Lynn Ferris says, beautiful song, Lee. Love the James Taylor influence. Sweet baby James. Yes, indeed. Mm -hmm. Lee Goldberg is with us here on Red's All Room. Right. We're right in the middle. Wow. That, All right, um, so can, can I bring it down now, big time, or what? Okay. All right, so here's the scoop. Um, I uh, unfortunately right. got to write a song about... Um, my stepdaughter, who was killed in a car accident in the year 2000 on April 19th. And um, about 19 years later, I was pressed on to write a song uh, uh, by the Lord. And um, I, I said no, <laughs> which I don't usually ever say. But um, I did eventually get into it, and, and I wrote this song. And um, if you know anything about, like, when, when high school, she was 18, so when... When high school kids get in car accidents, they do like th this whole big thing at the accident site with, you know, just, you know, pictures and, and, and just it, they fill it up with all kind of stuff. And, and, um, and so we pulled all that stuff down and we commissioned a cross to, to go up there on the side of the road. Okay. And it actually was there for 22 years until they uh, developed the property. Um, so the, so that the reason I, I say that is because the name of the song is called The Cross on the Side of the Road. This is my, what is my stepdaughter, Kara. So he, she's just not here. She's still around. She's just with Jesus right now. Okay. So she thought she was coming home to Ocean City, New Jersey, and she went home, home, home. So, folks, you don't know. You just, you don't know. And we know that you just don't know. So make sure you tell people you love them if you need to tell them. Make sure you get it right with God if you need to get it right and whatever you need to do. You know, you just no guarantee. Yeah, yeah, you know, guarantee for tomorrow, and I, I know that well. Okay, so tonight I actually put a song, uh, one of my scripture, a scripture to it that I wrote uh, to it from 1 Thessalonians 4.13. But we do not want you to be uninformed. Whoops. We do not want you to be uninformed, brethren, about those who are asleep. So that you will not grieve as do the rest who have no hope. Sometimes I make it through the song and sometimes I don't. Seven weeks short of 19 to the day Jesus took her home and left our lives in disarray Method mattered not a bit But surely we've not forgotten it The way it was was all that it could be The cross on the side it from this life The cross on the side of the road Marked the end of all her strife Stepping into eternity With her creator waiting joyfully Nothing, no, nothing could keep her here
met when she was only eight years old. A feisty fire to melt my heart, she was something to behold. Tough without, yet sweet within. A stainless steel clad violin, she'd steal your heart and leave. The cross on the side of the road marked her exit from this life. The cross on the side of the road marked the end of all her strife. Stepping into eternity, her creator waiting joyfully. Nothing, no, 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 nothing could keep her here. Was my honor to pray with her when she was just a child? Lead her to the place where she and Jesus reconcile. The cross on the side of the road marked her exit from this life. The cross on the side of the road marked the end of all her strife. Now she's living in eternity with her Savior, singing joyfully. Nothing, no, nothing could keep her here. Time is right, well, nothing will keep us here. Great stuff there by Lee Goldberg. <laughs> it took me a uh, second there, but I was getting my blurb and I was trying to exit out of that message. <laughs> I was pressing the same button at the same time. <laughs> Give me a second here, folks. <laughs> so anyway, so um, after bringing the house down here, but I'm telling you this, so it's like I was like, okay, great, God, what am I going to do with this song now that great I Great song, Lee. Great tribute. We have a hope. Elizabeth even said, we "Great do. song." Uh, and you know what? Yeah, I, got, I I I prayed with her and a friend of hers. Um, in her room, they were sitting on her bed, and, and, and we prayed, and she accepted the Lord, and she bore fruit, and we knew that she was still doing that in high school, and so we know where she is, you know? And all the grandkids, they know Aunt Cara, and, you know, it's it's cool, you know? So, you know, she's still around, she's just not here. You haven't had a chance to see her in a while, you know? Mm. So She's where we're all going to be someday, uh, seated at the right hand, you know? It's exactly. Awesome. Exactly. So, um... So anyway, so one of the issues I have, and I, you know, and then what's so wonderful about this is I get to admit to people all the nonsense and sin in my life, and um, so you know I definitely had some wax on the head with the rod about pride, you know, and um, so anyway, so I wrote actually wrote a couple songs about it, but I wrote a song about it, and um, here it is. Well, I'm so proud of my humility that rises up inside of me. And if you look closer, then you'll see the wonder of my humility. And if you can't see how kind I am, well, I'll draw you a diagram and then I'll stick it in your face, my friend. If you can't see how truly kind I am. And if you can't tell I'm a patient guy, well, I'll expound the reasons why. And if you still won't see, I'll say goodbye. If you can't tell that I'm a patient guy. But pride is truly an evil call. We're exhorted to be kind to all. With gentle patience, lest we fall. This is truth, my friend. So if you see some humility, well, certainly it's not from me. And the Lord gives grace to all you see. 
so my hope and prayer is you'll see some humility. And not just the irony. That was fun. I'm so proud of my humility too, Lee. <laughs> Great learn. stuff there here from Lee Goldberg right, here so, on. You know what? Well, while I'm on, I'm on the roll here. So um, I really hate doing yard work, okay? I, I mean, really. You just <laughs> can't explain how much I hate doing yard work. And one day I just decided that, you know, I was going to do something in the yard. I don't know what it was, but for my wife to bless her. And so um, I did, and, and she was blessed. And, and so um, I wrote a song about it called Yard Work. <laughs> I think I love you a little bit more Than I hate yard work I think I love you a little bit more Than I hate yard work Oh, I really, really, really hate yard work Oh man, I really hate yard work Oh, I really, 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 really hate yard work But I think I love you more Than I hate yard work So, See, what I'm saying really is You can't really compare those things um, anyway, but I just, you, you hate yard work I hate yard work uh, <laughs> It's just a show Just this guessing, just this song Okay, guys. So. Uh -oh. All right, so Ready? Revelation 3.20, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come into him and will dine with him and he with me. Indeed. So, scriptures. That to yeah, music. Little right. scriptures, right? Um, yeah, yeah. So uh Randy Fox was saying, I hear shades of Jim Croce in Gordon's oh, light man. book. Okay, so I love Who are the greatest guys career too, songwriters so, of all time. So Jim Croce, right? Like the pine trees lying in the winding road. I got a name. Okay, you guys know you guys know the original, not the fake, Rick. <laughs> You're Rick dating Ross. yourself, Lee. Right, the original <laughs> Rick Ross. Right, so he he uh -huh. loves him Croce, and he said, "Oh, you sound like Croce." And so I I played one last time I was on, and I'm I'm gonna be. I got two more things though, so I have to do one. I know two more, so I know three total of Croce. Um, so I, I don't usually play those anymore, but. Um, um, I did yeah. it for him. So anyway, so um, all right. So anyway, um, how many people would would agree that God can do anything? I mean, there's nothing God can't do. Then mm -hmm. you would be wrong biblically. Um, he cannot lie. Turn the water into wine. He stored the eyesight to the one who'd been born blind. He caused the demons all to flee. He healed the lepers so that all could look and see. But there's just one thing. There's just one thing. There's just one thing he can. sun stand still a day when he won all water the disciples were dismayed he fed five thousand with the lunch of a little boy and raised the dead so that all death could be destroyed but there's just one thing there's just one thing there's just one 
playing clubs, you know, the <laughs> person to Lee Goldberg, <laughs> the drunk guy in the back. <laughs> well, on exactly. Red Denise Winter says, loved your spin on uh, Jim Croce, by the way. It sounded exactly like it. <laughs> yes, indeed. Uh, great to have you with us there, Denise. Um, you know, he died for Lee, years I mean, you have a great soulful voice. Really enjoy it, uh, says uh, Monica. Uh, superb guitar work says Marcia Escobosa. Also, absolutely superb, says Olga, who we heard from just a little bit ago. Uh, Lee Goldberg is here ending the night here with us. On the, on the edition of Red Room. Uh, is that uh, about it? Or did you have one more? Oh, there, God, Lee? are you kidding me? How long do you want to go? I'll go. I'm, yeah, I'm just getting started, man. You got one more you can end us with before we head on out of here tonight? Um, sure. This guy, I think he preached on this uh, verse a little while ago, right? So um, this is what Jesus did on the cross, but here's the... He was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquity. The chastisement for our peace was upon him. By his stripes we are healed. upon his head purple robes you wear the love he showed them honored by the cross he had to bear pressing on to Calvary with strength till now unknown the Lamb of God was ready to ascend upon his throne And the hammer came down again to be 
this is a willing skin Didn't they know whose arms were open wide Then the hammer came down again The nail went further in Now was the time to pay for every sin security on that cross what kept him there was surely his love for us and the hammer came down again to pierce his willing skin didn't we know whose arms were open wide then the Time to pay for every now is the time to pay for every sin. The soulful singer-songwriter stylings of Lee Goldberg right here. And as we've heard a lot of comparisons tonight, reminiscent of a Jim Croce, a Gordon Lightfoot, a James Taylor, a Paul Simon, all rolled into one there. Great stuff from Lee Goldberg there. Fantastic, soulful stuff to end the night with. Uh, Lee, tell us where we can continue to connect up with you and uh, continue to find out more about your music and uh, everything like that that you're a part right. of. Well, probably the best place is, is YouTube at Lee Goldberg Music. Um, I've got, uh, you know, I've got a, um, you know, some studio stuff on there. I've got 365 scripture to music that I've did in, done in the last year. Uh, and there's another, a third playlist that's got uh, just a bunch of what I now call my long songs, since I do all these like 15 to 20 second scripture songs. And um, then I explain, I talk about them a little bit and how I wrote them and 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 uh, and I play those some of those y you've heard here tonight. So um, that's that would be the best place: Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. You know the usual weird places like that. Um, so, and I don't know what I'm doing after the 22nd is the last of those 365 verses. I don't know what 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 my next uh, assignment is. Yeah. Congratulations uh, on making it through a year, much like uh, Rob just did here uh, last year as well. You guys have been on a bit of a journey. This last year is fantastic, and hearing a lot of those um, scriptures set to music has been absolutely incredible. Thank you for sharing a lot of those tonight here on Red's Room. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and pray for Lee as well before we begin to wrap things up tonight and put a bow on this one this evening. Lord, we just thank you for Lee. We just thank you for uh, his great singer-songwriter stylings. We thank you for his decades of service uh, musically uh, to you, Lord. We just thank you that you're continuing to give him songs and scriptures and words and psalms and everything like that that you'll be able to set to music to be able to continue to draw people closer to you and continue to leave an impact uh lord we just thank you um for his dedication to his craft we just thank you for um this is amazing gift of music and for him being here tonight closing out this night to share it with all of us here tonight in fellowship and in community we ask that you continue to provide for lee as as only you can on a personal and a professional level, continue to expand his influence, continue to open up doors of opportunity that he will continue to uh, get this music out to where it needs to be heard and to continue to do exactly what it is he's called to do. We just thank you for his faithfulness. And we just thank you for everything that you're doing in Lee's life and in his music and in his walk. And we thank you for all these things. In Jesus, my name. Amen. Amen. That's good. I like that. Thank you, Lee. Appreciate you, sir. Pray for me instead of me praying. That that and that sounded pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Lee. Appreciate you very much, good sir. Uh, 